Hey YouTube, Herbal Prepper here. I'm going to show you how today to make long-term food storage for your newborn baby. Now, I hope you're breastfeeding, and in a time of need, I'm sure you will be breastfeeding because you won't be able to go out and buy formula, but I'm going to show you how to make food now for your baby then. So, today I don't have a cameraman, but I wanted to go ahead and get this video out. So, the first step to this is cooking whatever it is that you want to save for later. So this can be fruit, this can be ugh, be vegetables. Um, today I'm working with carrots. Now you can go and buy this from the store, you can buy it in the bags frozen, or you can harvest it from your own garden, which is always best. You know what's put on it and whatnot. So um, at this point you would just cook it. If it's raw, you want to prepare it, cut it, peel it, all that, excuse me. <coughs> and then you want to cook it for however long until it's tender like you would normally eat it right now okay so then you want to transfer this into after it's cooked into you can add spices don't let me forget to say that you can add salt spices so this doesn't have to be bland um, so at this point you would put it in a blender or something a smoothie maker whatever you use to make something a puree really really thin to the consistency of applesauce now you want it that way because at this point in time after you've done that you're going to transfer it to your dehydrator. Now I'm pretty sure by now you know where I'm going with this but in case you don't I'm going to explain to you how to do this. So you see this right here all this is is like a saran wrap because of course the liquid would fall through and I don't have the little fruit trays. If you do that's great you can use that. If not you can improvise and use parchment paper or um, saran wrap. And so you want to spread it out all over the pan and you want to spread it out really really thin as thin as you can possibly get it. Of course um, the thinner you get it the quicker the drying time. The thicker it is the more um, time it will take. Um, now I put mine on about 130. Oh guys don't forget to cut out this center piece of whatever if you're using saran wrap. So whatever it is that your dehydrator has that piece there make sure you cut it out. Okay so I put this on about 130 and it went for uh, about five hours and it was done. I had a, a few clump pieces where it was really thick that I either just removed or I um, spread out and let it finish going because of course when you're dehydrating something you want to check on it um, periodically rotate the tech if you have multiple trays you want to rotate those but this for the video I just did one tray okay so I've already peeled all of this off on this side most of it um, so here's what it looks like now, when you dehydrate something, you are removing about 95% of the um, water content. And as you can see, the thinner you make it on the tray here, the thinner it will be. So, at this point in time, you want to take it and put it in here. Um, now, I have a baby bullet. Uh, you can use a blender, again, whatever else. Um, you, a food processor would work, of course not for this small amount, but you would do a food processor for a much larger amount. And again, the great thing with dehydrating is you can take pounds and pounds of food and dehydrate it down, which makes it um, easier to store. And then when you take it and put it into powder form, you are making it much easier to store than previously when it was just dehydrated. So I'm going to have to set this down because I don't have a cameraman. And you want to blend it. And I'll go ahead and I'll have to set the camera down again, I guess. So depending on your um, little blender or uh, whatever you're using, depends on how long you will have to sit here and blend this. Also the thickness of how thick you dried it on the uh, dehydrator. If you made it thicker, of course it's going to be um, harder to break up. Now, a um, little tidbit word of advice here. When you're dehydrating something, you want to make sure it will snap. When you grab it, no matter how thick or thin it is, it should just snap. Um, that lets you know you've re successfully removed about 95 or more percent of the liquid. So at this point, guys, you are done. This is now carrot baby food. Um, of course, what you're going to want to do is, if you're going to want to make this long-term food storage, you will take this and put it in a uh, Mylar bag with an O2 absorber. And it will last you about five to eight years. Really depends on how you store it and things like that. But 
If you want to go ahead and use this now, and I should probably go ahead and tell you how to use it for the future, you would take about one, one and a half teaspoons of this powder or whatever powder you've dehydrated, and then take it and um, reconstitute it with liquid like milk, uh, cow's milk, goat's milk, um, water, breast milk, breast is best, um, any, anything else that you can think of that you would um, you can actually use liquid like broth, uh, really, you know, if you have bone broth and things like that will probably become pretty popular in a time um, when you can't just go out and buy things like your stocks, you have to make them yourselves. Um, but yeah, you can just reconstitute it and you would take, I'm going to say about one, uh, really it depends on your baby and how much the baby's going to eat, but about one and a half teaspoons to about an eighth. Um, really, again, depends on your baby, the thickness your baby likes your food. Some babies like it thin, some babies like it thicker. So, um, but that's it, guys. And you can just add a little liquid, stir it up, add a little liquid, stir it up until it's reached the consistency. Um, because it's powder, it will um, absorb a lot, so keep that in mind. But that's it, guys. You can make baby food from that to this. And very little effort, very little time and it will store for a very long time and that way your baby can have uh, nutrients all through the stages that you would normally feed your baby now baby food um, you don't have to worry about that later um, you can feed your baby the same stuff you would feed your baby now so I hope this is a blessing to you until next time guys